Hi, this is Rebecca. Thanks for tuning in to Backstage Pass. I'm here today with Shondell McFall from The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. How are you, Shondell? I'm all right, how are you? Thank you, good. Well, I have a couple questions to ask you. Uh, tell us about your character, Reverend Jim. Uh, Reverend Jim Mosin is a swamper from this, uh, the era 1890 uh, in the play, and he is basically the help around uh, the bar and the saloon, and uh, pretty much uh, the main character's right, or the main lead female character's right hand man. So, okay. Yeah. That's fun. Yep. <laughs> That's a fun role to play. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you start your acting experience, and how did you get involved in the community? Ooh. Um, well, I guess in 2015, uh, I had auditioned for a play called The Mice and Men, and I played Crooks. And a friend of mine who, uh, his name's Frank, he was directing it, and I'd known him since high school, and he was like, you should come act for this play. I was like, all right. And so <laughs> that was all yep. she wrote because he's like, you're good at this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice little recommendation there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'll be right in. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's pretty much how it happened. And I think uh, from that point on, being in the industry so far, just acting in general, it's been a wonderful thing. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. It's hard to get out once you get started. Oh, man. You can't really, it's like the mafia, you can't get out. <laughs> you You're just, stuck in it for life. Absolutely. <laughs> out of all of your roles that you've played, which is your favorite and why? Oh, this one's easy. Um, so I was in a play uh, directed by my friend Sean, and uh, it's called Exonerated. Um, mm -hmm. And it's awesome because it's based on a true story. Um, and I played Robert Hayes, and uh, the portrayal of it, because you're, you're not acting, you're literally playing out a of real things that happened with yeah. me uh, was very emotional, like in the sense that it put me in another person's shoes where I had to feel this, uh, them being accused for doing something terrible. And it really put you in like a place where you just felt this vulnerability and like yeah. you're, you're angry and you're upset. And, and yeah, it was- You experienced those emotions firsthand. Absolutely, it was amazing. Goodness gracious. Yeah. It's gotta be a tough role to play too. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Lots <laughs> tough of to get in that mindset. Oh, yeah. oh. Goodness. Well, what is the last thing that you do before you get on stage? Do you um, have any rituals? Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I have this one ritual and it's really weird because no one sees me do it. I do it kind of like on my own. I have this like weird breathing dance that I do. Okay. And I did. I kind of don't show people this because it's a thing, a me thing, but, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll wait until I'm alone for like maybe like a few minutes or seconds before I'm supposed to go out and I do this dance and it just makes me clear my mind and like gets that's me in awesome. this like weird rhythm zone and yeah. yeah it's, it's probably not something that anybody needs to see but you. Every, it's a very personal thing. Every actor or actress has their own like... They, they do, yeah, <laughs> they really do. But once you, you're in that mindset of your character, you're about to walk on stage, there's always something that somebody does. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So really get in, in that zone. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, we all have challenges, um, but how do you use your challenges and the things that are around your personal life um, to help develop your characters and to really get inside the minds of the roles that you play? Oh, um, so uh, I have two fronts that I come from whenever like I'm preparing for stuff or anything artistic really. Um, I really, it has a, a real ethical core where I ask myself, what am I taking from this and what am I giving to it? So like I will try to take what I can from what is given to me or elements I don't understand or I've never possessed yeah. and then things that I know that like augment the situation or, or help or in any way shape form fashion like I'll push right. those energies out so that ebb and flow kind of like opens up new space for me to learn and uh and for me to grow as a person that's or an good yeah that's really inspiring actually <laughs> thanks <gasps> that's awesome um having trouble flipping my card here <laughs> uh, what do you do when you when you aren't on stage oh, other than being a dad um that's a big one yeah big big <laughs> uh other than being a dad um i do visual art um i play music um i write uh, 
I hike, camp, I do a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness, you're a busy person. Um, it sounds like you're very creative. I, yes, creative, creative is one adjective I'd use. I'm, yeah. I'm busy with things. <laughs> but lots of fun things. Absolutely. Lots, lots of ways to express yourself. Oh, yeah. do, you, sh you should always find times to, to make to make that point of self-expression, be it through any any medium. Yeah. yeah. Anything that makes you happy and you're Absolutely. passionate about. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, what is next for you after The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance? So far for this year, um, my projects are to, uh, I have a, a couple books that I'm like trying to write right now. And, oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I am working on my career as an artist, basically just trying to get work wherever I can get it. And yeah. Just, build that repertoire, get that long list, and hopefully do something from there, so. That's exciting. Yeah. Writing books, that sounds really fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you have any information you can share with us about that, or is it more top secret? Um, so it's not so much top secret as in, I'm just trying to finish the book right now, but uh, I have a coffee table book. Uh, one of the books that is close to fruition um, is this coffee table book called Hikari, and it is based on my favorite and uh, aspect of reality, which is light, and um, mm. it's got uh, pictures and doodles and all sorts of things from uh, photos I've taken of images where I edit them to make them look like something else. But it's it's kind of like a cool guessing game because you're going through trying to figure out like what's what. But there's over two hundred or there's two hundred images, Whoa. but over two hundred pages, so it's it's a big book. So. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That is so cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. It's been great. If you guys want tickets to The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance, go to bravoboro.com. That's where you'll find them. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we hope you have a great night.